begin! Zama endures a backward throw! Anyone want to catch this fly ball? Extraordinary! Boxing! Further demonstrating his diverse skills, the Russian refuses to stay contained within his wrestling background. This guy could give Ola McGregor a run for his money! mind of steel this monster is a one-man judge jury and executioner and he's about to pronounce sentencing on jack sama professor buren field journal posting 117 it has been three years since my last entry when I started the Super Sapiens Project 30 years ago, the concept of genetic reform was in its infancy. My efforts to exponentially amplify human physical strength were met with fear and scorn by both the public and my colleagues. Frustration and defeat slowly chipped away at my resolve until I nearly abandoned the project. Then one day, fate intervened, and I bore witness to my salvation. A living nightmare. It was... Unimaginable. Even now, I question what I saw with my own eyes. A man fighting a polar bear with his bare hands. The beast didn't stand a chance. My mind was swirling. Thirty seconds of carnage had proved what thirty years of research could not. There he was, the missing link, standing before me like a god and staring at me with the eyes of a demon, but I was not afraid. Armed with the knowledge that such a man existed, I went straight to work and redoubled my efforts. I set out to create a formula that would produce a world of ultimate warriors, evolution in a bottle. Eventually, I hit a breakthrough. But there was one last hurdle. I needed a human test subject. Fortune smiled upon me once more, in the form of a most unremarkable man. Jack Zama. Using him made both our dreams come true and paved the way for my journey into hell. Nab Zama in a back hole. Wrestlers world over break when I unleash Zargon back hold special. You will break too, Jack Zama. I am force of nature. You are mere bug caught in maelstrom. Do you hear me? I will crush bones in whole body one by one. Have a nice flight. <laughs> Sargon's lethal backhold special comes to its bone breaking finale as Zama lands hard. He appears to be out cold after a drop that would have killed a normal man. Wait! He's moving! Jack Zama is trying to stand! Sargon with a second throw, further punishing Zama! Judging by this takedown, Andrianov Sargon appears bent on the total annihilation of his opponent. Jack Zama, a colossus of a man, is rendered helpless after colliding with Sargon's fury. Get up, you puny boy. Me, Andrianov Sargon, going to make you suffer. You should never have entered the ring. <laughs> Only best survive me, and you are hardly best. You like spying, little boy. Das Vidania.
My meeting Jack Sama was by pure chance. It's funny, I used to say luck. Now I think fate is more appropriate a description. It was at a kickboxing gym where my nephew worked as a trainer. There he was, all two pounds of him, striking a punching bag like there was no tomorrow. He was thin as a rod, but somehow found the strength to keep swinging punch after punch for 12 hours. Not once did he stop to rest, or even pick up his feet from the puddle of sweat gathered on the floor. I was amazed to learn that his extraordinary self-discipline was not an isolated event. Jack was a common fixture at the gym seven days a week, and had been for four years prior to my discovering him. I couldn't believe it, so I decided to put his resolve to the test. Uncle! I'm sorry, mister, but whatever it is you want, I'm busy. His focus and dedication were remarkable. I found myself mesmerized by his fanatical spirit. Uh, Jack Sama looks to be finished. He's back! Sama was playing possum, just waiting for the right moment to strike. And boy, if he didn't find it! Sargon struggles to maintain balance while Sama continues his aggressive attack. Wait a minute! I may have to take back what I said earlier. That Russian juggernaut is going to try to stand with Sama in tow! Look at that! More gruesome antics from Sama! Maybe we should call him the Pit Biter. Folks in the front rows, unless red is your color, I've done it. As you know, when it comes to the rules, the Supreme Fighting Circuit doesn't have many. But after what we've just seen, Zama pushes the limit. Maniac! You scarred body! This flesh exists to serve as motherland! You no right to defile against what springs from her soil! This violation unforgivable! Much suffering will be your fate. I vow revenge! For the honor of Mother Russia and her citizens, you will die! <laughs> Sargon charges and he's out for blood! Zama puts the brakes on Sargon's rage with a fierce uppercut! What a turnaround! Jack Zama's choke blow is explosive! He throws his dazed opponent across the arena! has been brought to his knees! You're pathetic, Andrianov. Go play the role of martyred puppet on your own time. But spare me your endless whining about the motherland. Your outdated attempt at self-sacrifice has no place in this ring! Sama did not do himself any favors with that speech! Witness the true face of your opponent. What's going on? Wait a minute, look! Zama's face is transforming! There are nightmares far worse than you could possibly imagine. Welcome to mine. Zama, he intends to die here.
I became so fascinated with Jack Zama that I began to investigate every facet of his life from the moment of birth. What struck me as most peculiar was his extreme lifestyle, especially his bizarre approach to weight training. His refusal to adhere to the advised maximum rep count took a disastrous toll on his body. Though his muscles cried out for him to rest, he would not yield. It wasn't long before his entire nervous system began to resist. No longer able to support his ambition, his body started to collapse. The more Zama persisted, the more he sabotaged his own futile efforts, until finally... At that point, his training came to an end. His quest for perfection blinded him to the basic principles which leading fitness experts have been saying for decades. Overworked and fatigued muscles foster a depletion, not an increase in muscle mass. While training at a variety of fighting gyms, Jack never bothered to alternate his methods, leaving his body a weakened shell. Zama was the poster boy for my own theory of excessive weightlifting syndrome. However, he took my ideas to an exaggerated extreme and invited scorn from others. A reaction I too received from colleagues and so-called professionals. But in his case, the negatives were well deserved. It's ironic that Jack Zama was the hardest working, yet weakest athlete in the world. I tried to warn him of the folly of his ways, to no avail. Don't be foolish. If you continue these reckless training methods, the only thing you'll accomplish is suicide. You'll be dead in six months. Wake up, Jack. Don't you understand what I'm telling you? I've devoted my life to preventing what you're doing to yourself. Why are you doing this? To win. There is one man I am sworn to destroy. To accomplish my destiny, I must be the strongest man in the world. Anything less would mean defeat. Uh, this is madness. If your goal is strength, you're sabotaging your own progress. I know what my body needs and what it can handle. There's no better way to achieve my goal than what I'm doing now. If my regimen leads to my death, be it in six days or six months, Dr. Buren, I will die fulfilled. And the outcome is irrelevant so long as I steer towards my fate. If death is to be my prize, I welcome it with open arms. Jack! Know that I understand your determination and that I share your same resolve. If death has no hold on you, if the demons in your soul have sway over your mind, then you owe it to yourself to use the knowledge I offer. Together we'll win. Follow me and your body will achieve perfection. It will become an unstoppable force that will see both our destinies fulfilled. This is a sample of X4, the body reformation formula I developed. I've diluted it ten parts to one. The formula has not been tested on humans. There's no telling how the active ingredients will interact with your system. Now you can continue unimpeded with your unusual training ritual. The pills will enhance the effects of X4 and help regulate your metabolism. The more you take, the greater your strength will increase. However, you will experience intense pain throughout the first week while your body adapts to the accelerated growth process. <laughs> As I predicted, it took mere days for those scrawny arms to become mammoth hooks of muscle. But the other results were far more impressive. Though his frame was little more than skin and bones, 
my formula reconstructed his rail-thin chest into a hulking mass of brawny armor. And his legs, once nothing more than brittle toothpicks, transformed into dense stalks of incredible power, providing Zama the agility of a panther and the speed of a thoroughbred. <laughs> the metamorphosis is now complete. You are the first in what will be my new breed of super beings. <laughs> At that moment, Jack Zama faded away. And all I saw was 30 years of endless trials and research rolled up into a body that was sheer perfection. Zama's transformation served as undeniable affirmation of man's ability to evolve beyond his genetic limitations. Under my guiding hand, a new world had been born. The reviled, emaciated weakling had risen like a phoenix from the flames to claim his legacy as the ultimate specimen of physical prowess. Jack Zama was invincible, and both competitors and world records were shattered in his wake. Yet... Despite all progress, his hunger for strength could not be satiated. More power! I need a body that can withstand more rigorous training. Your body has already performed well beyond expected limits. If we increase the dosage, the effects to your internal organs may be disastrous. Your heart could explode! I already told you the consequences are meaningless. I must get stronger. I don't care if I live one more year or a hundred so long as I defeat him! Jack, shoving more formula down your throat will only serve to make you a mutant. Then so be it, Doctor. You have damned us both. Zargon has Sama firmly in his grip, but what will he do with him? A back toss! Denied as Jack successfully blocks with a single leg. What an enormous show of strength by Jack Sama! Launching a man of Andriana of size is about as likely as throwing a house! Is Sama even human? Jack, you demon. By now you're probably halfway around the globe terrorizing Tokyo with your destructive might. I doubt anyone is capable of stopping you while you're doped up on X4. How many opponents have you put in a wheelchair or a coffin? I end this now! In the name of Mother Russia! Poor Jack. Somehow my dream got twisted, ground under the heel of your warped ambition. I did us both a grave disservice. Arrogance led me to believe I could control the beast within you. A gruesome strike! Jack struck underneath his rib cage. Broken ribs aren't his goal. When I managed to untangle the roots of Zama's family tree, I was less surprised by his lineage than the speed with which his system accepted the formula, ten times faster than his father did. Don't kill him! The match is over! Tonight, as I complete the final phase of my X4 research, I am left with confirmation of my darkest fears. While my formula stimulates the untapped physical potential of the human body, it exacts a terrible price on the brain. Cognitive instability, a wide variety of mental illnesses of the most violent nature. Therefore, my experiment is proven flawed, and the X4 project must be abandoned. Eventually, our species will learn to control our animalistic tendencies, but that day is far off. I can only warn that for a man to reach the point of total perfection, he must first master the mental capacity to govern the awesome strength a formula like X4 provides. To do otherwise is nothing short of suicide. Match over! And the winner is Jack Sama! Preserving a record of 600 bouts without a single loss, the pit fighter defeated Andriana of Zargon and advances to the semifinals.
This man's ribs were not only broken, the bones have punctured his heart. I refuse to believe that such an injury occurred by mere accident. The cruelty of this sport never ceases to disgust me. Ambition, without balance, can turn even the mildest creature into a monster. <laughs>